What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to talk about Xbox One's Play Anywhere initiative, or should I just say Microsoft's Play Anywhere initiative, in which they are going to integrate Windows 10 and Xbox One games uh, across the board. So if you buy one on Xbox One, you can play it on Windows 10 without having to buy two copies of the game. I think it's actually a really cool endeavor. As someone who has a gaming PC that's running Windows 10, I also enjoy playing games on my console. I think if I buy games on my Xbox One, the ability to play them seamlessly on a PC really adds to the value of the Xbox and that Xbox ecosystem in general. And it seems that Microsoft's first Play Anywhere game has just launched. I'll drop a link in the description. Microsoft released its first Play Anywhere cross-platform game for Xbox One and Windows 10. Gaming consoles are notorious for their vertical integration. Only in-house games, services, and controllers will work on them, and occasionally, even older games from the same console can create compatibility challenges. But today, Microsoft is breaking out of the console with ReCore, the first release in the company's Play Anywhere series. That means gamers can now buy the game through the Xbox Store or Windows Store for $39.99 as a digital download, then play it, well, not quite anywhere, but on their Xbox One console and their Windows 10 device. While Microsoft is still keeping the Play Anywhere games in the family, the program is a big step towards cross-compatible games, which have been very slow to take off with traditional consoles like Xbox, PlayStation, and Nintendo consoles. The series is also a big step towards digital game ownership, as the games do not come with a physical copy, a hotly debated topic amongst gaming communities. Digital games can be easier to acquire and have convenient backups, but they also take away from the romanticism of gaming and make the game harder to access by requiring logins. Xbox seems to have decided that cross-platform compatibility is worth the griping from fans of physical copies. ReCore is the first release in the Play Anywhere series, but a dozen titles have been announced. Future releases will include sequels to the popular titles like Halo Wars and Gears of War, along with several original games. ReCore may be an action-adventure game, but from the looks of the trailer, it also has an interesting narrative amid the gunfire and the game's world and graphics look fascinating. This is actually a really cool initiative. I don't know if everybody agrees with me there, uh, but I think that having more options to play your games, a game that I buy once, I think it's really, really cool to be able to play it on other devices. Uh, I know that the PlayStation Vita isn't as powerful as a PS4, but imagine if it was, and you could buy a game on your PS4 and play it seamlessly on your Vita without having to buy the game twice. That is just an added bonus, and I think that Microsoft with the Windows 10 initiative and Play Anywhere is a really, really good choice, and I think it's going to really uh, bridge all kinds of gaps with PC gaming and console gaming in the future. ReCore looks interesting. I'm hearing kind of mixed reviews on it. I have not picked this game up. I'm really, really enjoying Overwatch, as you guys can see. I just bought this game. I played the free weekend, and after that weekend, I said, yep, I got to go ahead and buy it now. And so I've kind of set Metal Gear to the side and playing this game because it's so damn fun. But who knows, in the future, ReCore might be on my list. Like I said, I'm seeing kind of middling reviews. Some people say it's really, really lackluster and some people appear to like it. If you're playing ReCore on your Windows 10 device or on your Xbox One, please let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. Is it a game worth picking up? Let me know what you think. Be sure to give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, and tell all your friends about the Beastly Gamer channel. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.